What's up, guys? It's Mr. Suya Girl coming at you with a shout out for my boy who got signed to Music Records. This is Brian Allen's lyric video for Buried Love and Broken Hearts. If you like acoustic music, you just found your new favorite artist. Click the link down below or wait to the end to click get to this video directly. Hit subscribe to Music Records and like this video. You will not be disappointed. And stay tuned for the Supreme Commander 2 video. Thanks, guys. What is up, guys? It's Mr. Studio Girl coming back at you with another Supreme Commander 2 cast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what little you heard of Brian Allen's lyric video because he is amazing. Definitely click the link down below and or check out the link at the end of this video because I will have it up there and along with my band's link. Leave a comment on both of those videos. It means the world to me. It's just as good. It's as good as Patreon to me. So do that. And I would greatly appreciate it. But anyhow, guys, the map is open, Palms. And let's see who our players are. We got Shadow spawning in as the blue Aeon Commander. He is dropping down a land factory after he gets the Eco. That is a thing that people most definitely do. And his opponent is Peanut. He is spawning in as Peanut K. I think that's what he likes being called. He spawning in as the teal Cyber Commander. That is a beautiful color. That is the usual color I go for. He is dropping down a triple land factory opener with the after eco, of course. He's going for a land all day long. Let's speed this bad boy up to number three and see what this match gets us to. So anyhow, guys, if you're doing the drinking game, I'm not going to explain it again. Some Republican teen did Put a little bit of a something of a drinking game, but drink responsibly. That is all I'm going to say. I am not liable for your problems. So please be a responsible adult. Or if you're not old enough to drink, don't drink. That is my advice to you. So anyhow, we already got some movement from Peanut K. He is bringing some loyalists around the hill. Let's see how Shadow responds to this. Shadow is putting down a long-range point defense kind of an odd way to deal with four little loyalists, but that is a waste of 200 mass there for for Shadow, and that is a gain for Peanut K, because Peanut K is now 200 mass, well, he forced his opponent to drop down 200 mass, and he's forcing his opponent to drop down 200 more mass, which this one actually isn't in a bad place. The sense is a shield right here. That is not a bad idea whatsoever. So that is actually a pretty good spot. Because if any loyalists come down here, they're going to get blasted in the face by this long range point defense as well as all these Yenzu. So that is not bad at all. So as we can see, we got Peanut K expanding. He's trying to expand here. This engineer does not have the mass. And as I say that, the curse of the commentator kicks in and that mass extractor starts getting built. And we got a... Factory TML, an interesting choice, but not a bad choice if you think about it now that you see the commander going up here. That commander might be building a... took some damage from that Factory TML. That is kind of sad. Then we got Vision researched by Peanut K. Is Peanut K doing some ACU uh, tech, or is he going to build a Factory right here? Now, Kitty is doing the right thing in Shadow. I think he's Kitty Litter. Shadow is also known as Kitty Litter, I believe. And he is putting down a land factory. I'd like to see that a little farther back because at this range, I think Brackman could hit down in here. And definitely TML could, uh, MMLs and TML could hit all that way. So it's not a problem for the opponent, but this might be a problem for Shadow. However, Shadow could put a put a point defense here and have some nice little crossfire, which would not be a bad thing at all for him. So now you can see a Brackman entering the field. So Brackman are very strong on this map, especially right here. I think some... Ooh, that Brackman took some factory TML right to the face. That is not ideal whatsoever. And um, we still p see Peanut K putting down some energy generators. And we got Kitty Litter helping out these factories. That is not a lazy commander whatsoever. And we got mass extractors being built. And we got Peanut K researching the dynamic power shunt, as you can see. That popped up on the screen down below. So 
We is going for nanobot we weapon. I think that is 100% what's going on. And we got one engineer helping out with a factory. That is a good thing. An engineer being lazy, actually, not queued up to build anything, but that's okay. He, I think he just got done building stuff. So energy generators being put down for kitty litter. So how many DS he has? Four right now. Probably running low from all of the point defense he put down early on because those are pretty expensive items. So we got some Yenzu's moving out. <laughs> and Peanut K is forced to respond to that, but he is not pushing forward. And we got two engineers expanding right now. Is Does he have the mass for that? Yes, he does. It looks like Peanut K has the mass for that. I'd like to see Peanut K build a factory, but he built a research station, which isn't a bad thing whatsoever. So he's trying to get to that nanobot weapon really fast. If he doesn't already have it, yeah, he's definitely trying to go for that. Putting down a research station, and he's trying to harass with, what is that, seven bots, which isn't going to do the trick against all of these tanks. So very nicely defended by Kitty Litter. And Kitty Litter put down a research station and a bunch of I, I wonder what technology he's going for. I couldn't tell you. I, I could definitely tell you. He's probably going teleport. Um, he went veterancy rate and boda boom. So he's going the fast way to teleport. That is not how you usually play against Cybern. Against Cybern, you usually go for shields. You usually go for shields against Cybern. So that is, this is unusual. Probably trying to go straight to teleport. Try to harass his opponent, which isn't a bad thing whatsoever. So we got Peanut K building a land factory right in front of all this stuff which is a good idea and a point defense could definitely be very strong underneath the factory shield right there not a bad move whatsoever um i like the expanding very very well done there and of course these players are posturing against each other seeing who is stronger now peanut k has three research stations to kinney's two and peanut k has four factories to kitties, aka Shadows, three, and there's Shadow puts in his third research station, which and there's the fourth going down for Peanut K. Um, I would like to see some fighting going on. Let's slow this bad boy down. And it appears that Nanobot weapon has been researched, and this is precisely why you go Chrome Shield and Chrome Shield 100% against Cybran. Because of Brackman, who do massive area effect damage, and units like Peanut K's ACU, who has area area of effect and damage over time with a nanobot weapon. Now, I don't see any Boda Booms coming out. Now, it looks like Veterancy came at, kicked in with mass extractors so we are seeing a bunch of factories being built kind of a bit too close for my liking teleport has been researched by units would definitely like to see would definitely like to see not just teleport but the shields now we got a bunch of adapters i almost called them loyalists i didn't do it this time guys you did not get me so a research station and a bunch of energy generators. This is what people like to do nowadays. They like to put energy generators in a, in a line and hope that their opponent and hope that their opponent will walk into it and get blown away. I don't know. Ooh, nice little snipe attempt. Oh my goodness! Peanut K is down to 2,000 health, less than 2,500. Almost lost his commander, but my goodness. I'm telling you, that area of effect damage did a number on all those units. So all those units for Kenny Litter, a.k.a. Shadow, went down very, very quick. That is a sad thing to see happening there. Now we got Peanut K gifted a lot of delicious, yummy, yummy, savory mass, Dat Mass, yo, just chilling there, waiting to be sucked up. Is Peanut K going to do it? Will Peanut K repair his commander? All right, so we got a teleport over here. Oh, yes, there we go. We got chrome shields. Definitely, definitely what you want to see on your units. 
that makes them so, so much tougher. Now, <coughs> is Peanut K going to respond to his base getting ripped up by Kitty? I w do not see that happening. Peanut K is not... Um, he's not power detonating either, so that's not good at all. You want to definitely power detonate as the Cybern player. Did that power detonate? No, it didn't. So teleporting to get closer to your opponents. Nicely done there. Now we got some Boda Booms and Shields. That makes these units very, very strong. Now if I were Kitty Litter, I would be switching to something that could do some damage. Maybe get out some experimentals. Maybe pop out a snail at uh, Urchu now. That might be a smart thing to do because you need something to cut down those shields. That's a lot, a whole lot of adapter shields because that is deadly. This is a deadly cyber death ball here. We got adapters. We got an engineer. We got a commander with nanobot weapon. We got Brackman. We got loyalists. It is not fun for Kitty to deal with. Now, as you can see, point defense don't really do a whole lot against the shield. The shields are holding very, very strong. Nice little teleport taking out a bunch of units, but unfortunately, the units are so clumped up that nanobot weapon is doing a number on them. And so are those. You see that Brackman hit? Oh! Those Brackmans drop the shields very, very quickly. Some nice little crossfire from point defense doing some pretty good damage, but I don't think Kitty Litter has the units to deal with this. Now, Kitty Litter, if he built an Urchu now and kited it back, he might have been able to cut through those shields. However, Urchu nows are not the best units, and a Megalith should just pop out and win the, win the day. Kitty Litter could have overran him with a bunch, a bunch of units, but that is really hard to do against Nanobot Weapon. With Nanobot Weapon, you want to teleport your units in all different sides, teleport them in, and definitely hope for the best. Now, all the veterans, veteran mass was destroyed. Kitty Litter destroyed it, but it looks like Kitty Litter has nothing to deal with these units. Now, look how fast those bot, those tanks were destroyed by nanobot weapons in Brackman. Such powerful things. Kenny Litter, Control Cade, down goes Shadow, aka Kitty Litter. Very well played there, Pina K. Thank you for sending me this replay. It was quite an interesting one. You almost ate, bit the dust there because a well-timed um, what do you call that? Teleport almost got you. So very well played there by both players. That was an awesome job there. Kitty Litter, if you got in there, didn't lose your units early on, that match could have went very, very different. So awesome, awesome job. So tell me, pros, in the comment section down below how to deal with the Siren Death Ball like that. Urchin now, a bunch of units teleporting in all in different times in different spots and tiny groups and so that the nanobot weapon can't just annihilate them. And a good micro probably too, huh? So anyway, guys, let me know down in the comment section. So definitely wait to the end of this video and click a link down below or at the end of the video to see Brian Allen's lyric video. It is amazing. His voice is amazing. This song is fantastic, and you will have a brand new artist to love and a brand new record company to follow if you like music. So anyway, guys, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Favorite it because that helps me out. Send good replays because I need them. This still speaks at gmail.com. And... Comment some, something down below. Comment what you could, what you think Kitty Litter could have done against the Cyber and Death Ball. Or say something nice about both players or this channel or video in general. And if you, have, if you feel so inclined to support this channel, click the link down below. Go to my Patreon video and click the link down there to go to my Patreon site and hook me up with some cash. If you can't do that, go to my band's video, uh, Black It Out's video, it's in the description down below as well as at the end of this video, and comment and say something nice, comment and say something nice about the video, or go to my boy, 
Brian Allen's video on musicrecords.com and comment and say something nice. That's just as good as Patreon to me, and I would really appreciate it. So I think it's about that time, guys. What, what do I usually say? I haven't lost it yet. I'm just playing. So share with your friends, family, and foes, because they need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G-G.